Hi everyone, my name is Hamid. Um, I'm a biology major, third year. Um, hoping to go to medical school, so that's kind of the plan right now. All right, to kind of end off on a really nice, fun right. note, um, favorite TV show you've seen in the past two months? Favorite TV show I've seen in the past two months? Well, I have to admit, we've discovered reruns of Kim Possible, okay. and, and so that's close. Here, here's my problem. Um, my new job has seriously cut into my TV watching. So what I tend to do, this is really bad, so you notice there's people who binge watch? I'm that really annoying dad who pesters my kids who are binge watching about what's happening in the show. So I am vicariously watching Game of Thrones through my oldest daughter who has decided on her summer vacation from college to catch up on. So she started watching Game of Thrones from season one. I think she's up to season four already. Um, I've seen maybe 10% of the episodes while she's watching them. A great show, I love it, but most of it is asking her what happened. So I get these recaps after she's watched three episodes. So it's a very bad way to watch TV, <laughs> um, but it, it, is, it, is, it, it is my one regret. I, I, it's weird, I feel like um, you know, the whole watching TV with everything streaming and all the different ways of getting at it has really changed. Um, and so figuring this out, and you know, I have three kids. Well, you don't know that, but now you do. <laughs> I have three kids, three daughters, 13, 16, and 19. So a lot of my TV watching has been influenced by what they've been watching through the years. And there's some really good and some really bad kid shows out there. But so I have to admit, you, you ask me favorite shows, and they tend to be things like Kim Possible, Phineas and Ferb, and Game of Thrones, which is like this weird span of, of, of mix. I also have to admit, I really like Once Upon a Time. Our family's kind of addicted to that, um, but that hasn't been on in the last two months, so I couldn't really count that. Um, so I'm looking for other, other things like, oh, the other one I'm watching vicariously that I, I really like, of course, is Supernatural. Um, but again, that's been mostly um, pestering my kids on what's happening, watching five minutes here, five minutes there. It's amazing how much you can get out of a show by only watching five minutes and then asking your kids lots of questions. <laughs> <laughs> so great question, but yeah, that's, a, that's, that's where I am. And what people should do now is watch my YouTube series, Fascinating Fights, because they're really short episodes, they're only 10 minutes. Um, we have two seasons. Um, Dan Glenn is the guy who started it, and you can find fascinatingfights.com is the website, um, but you can go straight to the episodes on YouTube. So, and we, we, we discuss who's gonna win in battles. Um, one of my favorite battles was the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man versus King Kong. Um, that was a challenging one to decide. Um, and we recently did Popeye the Sailor, our season finale was Popeye the Sailor Man versus Bane Venom. So, you know, depending where your interests lie, we have everything. We even did tackle Muppet Streets, uh, Muppet Streets, Sesame Street, <laughs> old school Sesame Street, not Elmo, versus the Muppets. Um, and so that's an interesting challenge. Um, and I'm the physics expert on it, so I get to talk oh, okay. about the physics of these. So that's something exciting you can look for. Yeah.